Well, I'm gonna try something out. Actually, I'm just gonna put this in my truck that's been sitting. Basically got it parked for now. This is gas line antifreeze and water remover. So, uh, number one selling gas line antifreeze. Apparently they use this at the shop. My buddy shopped there and they gave me a bottle for free since they didn't need it. And they said, well, yeah, since your truck's going to be sitting for a while, it's probably good to put some treatment in there so no water builds up and causes any problems with the injector. So, all right, I'll go ahead and put this in since I haven't, uh, actually haven't started this thing in a couple months. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe do a, one of those stupid cold starts as well. So, yeah, let me get this bottle open here. Hold on. All right, yeah, for quick winter starts, prevent gas line freeze up. Use year-round to remove water from fuel system. Prevents rust and corrosion. Recommended for fuel injection engines and safe for catalytic converters and oxygen sensors. So, it says do not use with two cycle engines. All right, so we'll just dump it on in like that until it's all in there. So yeah, that'll be good. I didn't really even think about putting some treatment in there since yeah, this thing's going to be sitting probably most of the winter. Almost in. Yep, yeah, sounds like that's it. Now we got some heat in the gas tank. All right, well, I guess next we'll go ahead and open it up. I'll gotta reconnect the battery and we'll do a cold start. All right. Let me go ahead and pop the hood. Yeah, good. Train horns are back. Yeah. All right. I'll reconnect the old battery. Oh, that. And then this one. Like that. Alright. That should be enough to crank it up. So we'll see what it does. Okay. Alright. Let's see if we'll crank. Yeah, there we go, half a tank of gas, so that'll be good, that stuff sounds pretty good. liter. Running pretty good. Doesn't sound like it's missing at all. Got a loose pipe there. I guess the hanger broke. I'll have to get that fixed one day. Yeah. I'll let this run for a few minutes. Pushing cooler, looks good. in a little bit. Let's rev it up a little bit. Let's see how it does. Yeah, 
not bad. It smells good. RPMs. Yeah, this thing needed to run. That steam is gone now, pretty much. Well, alrighty then. Truck looks good, just dirty. I'm not gonna clean it. It's just gonna sit for a while. And my Panther decals are coming off, of course. Well, they've been on there for ages. For about 14 years. <laughs> so yeah, 12 years. That sounds about right. Three NFC champions. I haven't even changed that plate. Ugh. There's some crap there. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Well, I guess I'll just wrap this video up. Put some heat, gas treatment, and a cold start on my '99 Dodge Ram quad cab. Yeah, still pretty clean truck in the back. I like it. Thought about taking this to Mexico. I know it could be used down there, but <laughs> you know, then I wouldn't have a truck here unless I replace it with something six cylinder, which I've been thinking. But I don't know. I've had this truck, well, yeah, since 2004. I've made, the, I've told this before, but for those that don't know, Back when my credit was not so good, my wife had to buy this truck for me, use her credit because hers was in better shape. And then we refinanced uh, her car, actually it was a Ford Focus that she used to have. My credit was better and had to put that under my name. So I had her car, she had my truck. <laughs> and we eventually got everything straight, you know, title wise and all that you know so my name was on my truck and her name was on her car and then our van we bought in 2007 so <laughs> uh, it's funny it's a funny story but anyway yeah I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down I think that's good enough so hope you enjoyed it and until the next thrilling video adios